Hello everybody, this is Crazy Kirby Under 7. I think I wish I'll off cheat real quick before I start my LP. I think it's Z, I'm not sure. But it's a certain button you can press. RT! RT. No? RT and LT, that's what it was. Is it? I'm just guessing here. Oh well. Well there's some button you can press, and if you press it while you turn on the uh, GameCube, it'll play this little squeaky, creaky kind of thing to the intro. And if you have a guess what the LP is, you really don't read the title that well. Uh, apparently I haven't played on this memory card before. Cool. Uh, let's watch this little intro here. I think, uh, you should have watched that. Wait, you know what? A lot of people watch Chuggah Conroy's version, and the only reason they're watching my version is because I'm usually faster with LPs than he is. No, I'm not being offensive to Chugga. I am just saying, I am faster than you with LPing. You may make 20 minute videos, but I make like 50 videos a day. Just simply to LPs. What the crap? Oh, you gotta use an Italian accent, Luigi. What the crapper? Holy a crapper! Where is that? I remember that some from YouTube. Some from YouTube. Some from YouTube video I watched. From some YouTube video I watched. It was about Mario. It was like, holy a crapper! I love how he's pulling, turning off all the can candles as he goes. I cannot talk today. I also know this horrible sprite animation here, but. Um, unlike Chugga, I am trying to go for a perfect score here. Um, I did have a book that listed all the stuff, but what's the fun of all that, you know? That just ruins it. But yeah, I'm going for a perfect score. I managed to do it before, actually. It's just... Okay, uh, this is just a crappy cutscene. Yes, I think these cutscenes are crappy. They're just a bunch of reading to do. Okay, go in there. Go in there. Change the room somehow. The so color changes. Just say. Oh, so creepy. See, if I saw a ghost like that, I'd be more giddy and excited than I would scared. Because he is, like, freaking awesome. You're a jerk. And why don't you ever do that to Luigi? Just say. Yes, you have the game, it never happens to me. Uh, a funny thing you know. Uh, anyone who has the Prima Strategy Guides uh, book about this game, uh, you'll understand that in that book, uh, one of the pictures of EGAD, uh, they accidentally turned on the white screen when they did it. I don't know what program they're using to make these books, but whatever it is, it must be very crabby. Because his hair and his whole shirt like have like these big holes in them pretty much that show in the background it's kind of funny and I was like laughing my head off that pick like oh my god they actually failed and the professionals actually failed they're like professional book writers that do game uh play not play but books look I'm faster than Chugga it's like a whole video this far no offense you did not that I'm against a whole video and it takes 20 minutes to get to a certain part that takes under entertaining cutscenes. I was the only one with standard. I don't really care. I totally forgot the controls anyway, so. Ah, I'm so creepy. I remember back when I was a little kid, I used to get like every Mario game from GameCube I possibly could. Like the only one that I really wanted that I never got was Thousand Year Door. So I like totally forget about it when I went to buy games. My goal here is to catch as many ghosts as I can. Okay, let's try to get the two ghosts here. I'm trying to go for two. It really doesn't matter right now, but, you know. I'm better than Chugga. Okay, it's easier. You guys grouped up here. Okay, 
Okay. Oh, this is the hardest part here. Um, I'm actually managed to get them all at once. It's kind of funny. Yes! That was some expert ghost catching skills. I still think Luigi's Mansion is a Ghostbusters knockoff, and I'm not really caring, so. That's just the same score Chug got. And that's no fair. I want to do better than him. Even though I didn't really start a challenge for that one, he should have. Ooh, dude, someone should do that. Someone should make a website where, uh. Oh crap, I'm waiting here. I don't really need show off this place, so. I'm not gonna show off anything because I don't really feel like doing it. I really want to just get into the gameplay and shit. Uh, if. Really, most people go to like the later levels to do these. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. Hey, hey, the statue, statue, tap the statues, old move their wings. So cool. Okay, what will you do, Luigi? Well, there's only one thing we really want to do. Um, I don't know if there's any prize for being perfect in the training room. Uh, I know people who have done it, so I don't think there's anything for it. They haven't told me about anything. If there is something, please put it in the comment section there. Uh, I will appreciate that. Okay, talk to this toad here. The room will light up, and you'll get a save point. Uh, these save points, you don't really need save points for, like, just, they're really helpful to have at least one. Uh, for every little bit of money you get, save. We're going for a perfect score, buddy. First off, this lamp here. There are five things in there. Okay, she got five coins. Talk to the toad. Talk to the toad, bitch. Okay, uh, we're not done yet, guys. Ugh. Okay, this one's one of the harder ones. You gotta catch it all. I think there's 15 bills in this one. So don't, don't suck right away. That's all I'm gonna say. Try not to suck right away. Don't you fall! You evil, evil, evil lamp! Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna demonstrate what you do if you fail to get money. What you do? Reload, of course. This is kind of annoying. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys don't, don't like the whole reloading thing, but I'm gonna be doing it a lot. If you take the littlest damage, you have to reload. If you fail the littlest money, you have to reload. That is how the perfect score, the legendary, the legendary, the legendary perfect score is achieved. Uh, no one I know has achieved the perfect score in this game. That, down there is what you should have. Um, I can't show the gold bars, so I'm going to read those out. Make sure you listen for that. Uh, the gold bars down there. So, let's save. Now, there are some pretty easy cash in this game that you don't really need to save for, but I do suggest doing it so you won't have to do it again. Uh, if it takes a long time to clean up. Uh, for example, these ones out here. You gotta walk both here. Uh, you just don't wanna do that again, you know? It's just like, oh, uh, too much walking. Your coin count to be 28. Uh, make sure yours is matching mine. Okay, uh, in the next episode, we will go into the next room and clear out all of its wonderful treasures. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, by the way, I'm naming the episodes off of the level we're in, I guess. Not, probably not. We'll just see how it works out.